Thank you. And so right now, I'd like to go ahead and uh, we have next Miss April Napier. Okay. She's an assistant professor of social work and the founder of Raw Honey. Her goal today is to bring awareness to the impact of mental health on living the healthy life that we deserve. She wants to educate, enlighten, and empower any and all women who are battling and burdening anxiety, depression, trauma, and so forth, and feel that they can confidently address their personal health and still be successful, if not more successful. So please join me in welcoming April Napier. Okay, they told me not to have notes, but you know, I teach and I have a lot of stuff in my head, so I'll just have it there just in case. So, you guys are, look like very successful women, and you know, we all know what success looks like. Right? We graduate from our dream college, we get our dream job, we get a promotion, we started a family, we have wife and kids, or husband and kids, whatever. Um, but what about getting over grieving for the past year? What about confronting your abuser? What about just saying that I went for a month without having a suicidal thought? Is that success? Well, to me, that's my success. See, being a woman, we all know, is really, really hard. We're not allowed to show our emotions too much. We can't get on our feelings all the time. You know, we can't say things from the heart because we're being irrational or, you know, we're being touchy-feely. But being a black woman, that's a whole different beast. See, when you're a black woman, you don't have emotions. In fact, you have no flaws at all. You just put on this face every day and you keep on going forward as if nothing happened, ever. And if you do let down that guard just for one second, somebody's gonna point out that flaw to you. Yeah, that's being a black woman. In fact, when I was five years old, that's the first time I learned that I was a black woman. How did I find out? Well, there's these two girls that called me blacky and they said that I looked as black as the concrete. I just thought we were all different shades of tan. I didn't know I was black, but that day I found out. And then when I was seven, I found out how black I really was because the other black students said, well, you talk too white and too proper, or you express yourself too much. You, you know, you're too open all the time, you know? So that's a, that day I found out maybe I'm not that black at all. But then when I was 14 and I lost my mom, I found out what it meant to be a black woman. That meant I had to wake up the next day and go back to school as if nothing happened, as if everything was okay. And if I let that guard down just for a second again, I'll be told that you're being weak. You need to tough it up. You can't show that, you can't show that emotion. That was the day I learned that I was a black woman. See, in the black community, we don't really like trauma. You just say that you're just trying to act out, you're trying to get attention, when in reality, yeah, you needed attention. That's what it was you needed. You know, I lost my mom. I used to, we used to steal shopping carts from Piggly Wiggly because we didn't have a car to go around Memphis. That was our car. Mm -hmm. I found my grandpa dead in his office. We went through so many things, but we're told you can't talk about it because it makes you weak. So we, we just don't like, we just don't like trauma. In fact, if you have trauma in the black community, it's for two reasons. Either you're not tough enough or you're not praying enough. Or we just say, it's just life. So that's what I did. I lived my life, my traumatic life, in the dark. All the time, in the dark. I would throw bricks at mirrors and try to break them. I'd try to jump off balconies. I'd try to throw myself at men who would never catch me. I did everything. I did not care for myself. I did not love myself. But didn't I love the dark? because it was all I knew. And so I was looking for somebody to turn on a light somewhere. Just somebody just turn on one light, a little night light somewhere. My family, can you turn on the light? Friends, can you turn on the light? Boyfriend, can you turn on a light? But what I failed to realize is there was a light inside of me. I was smart, still am. I was beautiful. I was confident. I had a lot going for myself. I had a lot of great lineage. I was faithful, I was loving, I was nurturing, I was caring. So the first thing I wanna say is know your worth. 
know it and go for it. And stop with the bootstrap thing. I didn't pull myself up by my bootstraps, no. I walked barefoot barefoot on broken glass in the dark all the time but i knew if somebody else got there then i can get there too so then from there i realized i had power so then know your power know that if you dream something then that means it was meant for you so go get it and know that with faith and with god you can tell any mountain to move out of your way and i know i did because two years ago i had a gun to my head ready to end my life but six months later, I had a cap on my head, ready to graduate and begin my new life. So know your power, know your worth. Don't be afraid to jump into the unknown. Don't be afraid of this brokenness. And I'm not saying this just for myself. I'm saying this because I know there's somebody, maybe not just a somebody, maybe a lot of bodies, who's trapped under a trauma, who's trapped under anxiety, depression, something they've been through, and they told you, if you want to keep your professional face, you need to be quiet. You don't need to talk about it. If somebody sexually assaulted you at your office, don't report that. Keep your job. Keep your face. Don't talk about somebody in your family going to jail. Don't talk about having an abortion. Don't talk about a murder. Keep it to yourself. But what I want to tell you is, you can break free from that box. You can break out of that captivity because with brokenness comes freedom. Because when you are broken, you are free. And what I want you to do is use those broken pieces to build up obstacles from the enemy attacking you again. And use those broken pieces to tell testimonies to others the way I'm telling you right now. And use those broken pieces to mesh with others' pieces and create this masterpiece of healing. See, I'm not telling you this story for you guys to feel sorry for me. I'm not. But I'm telling you this story because I want you to relate to me. Sympathy versus empathy. You are me and I am you. And we are this story. And together, we can stand up against the things that we've been through. So I'm telling you this now because I know, again, there's someone out there that's going through this process. And I want to know that you're not alone. And I want you to know to trust the process. Know your purpose. Know who you're defined to be. Think of someone like me who lost her mom at 14 and had a father who was incarcerated and a previous addicted person. Yet I got a master's at 23 from Washington University and I'm a professor at 24. If I can do that, you can too. But the biggest success I want to tell you I have is I faced my trauma. I put it head on, I conquered, I cried, I stood up, I laughed, I smiled, I loved, I breathed, I lived. And you can too. Know your purpose, know your process, restore those things that hurt you in the past, restore your heart, restore your family, restore your relationships, restore your love for yourself. Be aware of who and what has torn you down in the past. Be aware of who's not with you on this journey. Sometimes you have to cut things off. Your family, your best friend, the only love of the life you ever knew. Sometimes your hair, and yes, I just cut this off. <laughs> but most importantly, know your why. Why am I here? Why am I so passionate about global initiatives? or about farming, or about the Midwest? And why is it on my heart? Because when you know your why, then you will. You will do the things that you're determined to do. And if you just keep walking with those bare feet on that broken glass in the dark, believe me when I say that light inside of you will excel out and it will be for everyone to shine. That's your success story. Thank you.